actually when I was working for Channel 5, so I was working for um, the TV sales house, and we worked with Orion, Orion invested in, in our business, and, and was a really useful source of investment, um, and I didn't massively understand um, how it would all work from the Orion point of view, but um, but yeah, when, when I um, had the opportunity to come and join here, I obviously wanted to understand more about that, um, and it's good to have piece the whole pieces of the jigsaw together. So I joined the Orion team in the UK January 2016, so I've been, been there for three and a half years, um, which has flown by. Um, it's been yeah, fantastic. It, it's, um, there's been lots of changes over that time, um, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's been, I think one of the things I've, I've been across that time, I've, I've learned about the business is that it, it, its scale globally is, is so strong. So it's, you know, yeah, I'm sat now in New York um, and you know, the, the size of the team here is, is fantastic. It's, um, and I think that's what I find really interesting about it. I mean, each market is very different from a structure point of view, from how the market dynamics work. Um, and yeah, it, it's that kind of variety that I think makes it you know, a really nice place to work. Well, it's changed um, fairly significantly in that the, the, when I joined, um, media brands um, had had a few years of lean times when it comes to winning business. And it, it was a situation where we had some key client targets, but there wasn't a huge pipeline of, of accounts coming into the media brands portfolio. Um, the reason we've been successful is, is twofold in, in, in the UK because we've Thankfully, that has changed, and Media Brands has had a, a fantastic um, three or four years, um, both initiative and UM, both from a global account wins and the local level, um, which gives us the opportunity to, to talk to more clients. Um, however, it was quite clear when I started that you can't rely on Media Brands for that, so we needed to, to go and look outside the, um, the Media Brands portfolio. And, um, an area that we've done extremely well at is um, our IPG colleagues over at McCann. We've managed to sign over 30 clients um, in the last three years through McCann, through their regional offices in Bristol, Birmingham and Manchester. And that's given us you know, the, the, a whole new group of people to talk to. Um, it's a really successful partnership that we're now trying to roll out across Europe and, and um, hopefully beyond that. Um, Equally, we've, we've started talking to independent agencies in the UK, um, and it's something that, um, you know, it, it's a fairly mature market, what we do in, in the UK, but there are opportunities, and we've been successful. We've, we've signed um, the largest client at the largest independent agency um, in London, um, and um, we're looking to grow that wherever possible. So it's been, the, the, the change, I think, has been more from a, um, how we're able to deliver growth, we've had to adapt to the fact that you know we can't necessarily rely on media brands. It's been great that there have been wins, but it, it's um, we've had to look outside of that and have been successful doing so. Yeah, I, th I think it's um, it's something that is you know it's on our website. It's it, it's something that whenever we we did some work with IPG. Um, procurement recently, and they just love the whole the simplicity of that message, um, and and yeah, I think it's embodied throughout Orion. It's something that what it's what we're really trying to um, to make sure people understand that you know the, the, the be nice bit is something that I think historically when we're working with with media brands, um, we don't necessarily focus enough on the relationships we have with. The agencies. I think you know we are the same company. There's a there's a, an element of expectation that we should work closely together, and of course we should. But um, it, it can't do any harm having a really close relationship with these people and and making sure that you know we're, we're servicing them as if they were external agencies. Um, we normally find that that means that, that we're more successful. So yeah, it's something that um, it, it does it. it the markets in Europe are, are, are quite a lot smaller than you know, the UK is the biggest market in Europe, and, and there's um, the other markets are, are relatively small. But you know we're now 
every quarter we're getting together as a group um, rotating around different European markets to communicate more and, and to make sure that you know the, the global team are um, are together as much as possible because it, you know, it can be lonely for those people in those, those individual markets and, and it's something that um, yeah, the communication flow is really important to make sure that they know that they can ask questions whenever they want and it's something that you know, the, the culture of Orion is very much that and that you know, people should, should just ask if they need something, if they need help and, um, and they should feel empowered to do that. Uh, okay, three words uh, to describe Orion. Um, I would say, firstly, unique. Um, it's something that I find it difficult to explain quickly to friends who aren't, don't work in media. It's something that you, you end up having more questions than ever before and people are genuinely interested in. Um, so um, it's definitely unique. Um, it's creative would be a, um, another word I'd use in the, the way we... Our sell is very simple and, and what we're able to do for clients, but if, if I go through all the barter deals we've done, and um, it's less so for capital, but, but certainly the barter product, they're all slightly different and each client has a slightly different challenge. And that's something that um, I really enjoy from a, you know, you have to overcome the different challenges and the different nuances with each, um, each client. Um, but you, you certainly have to be creative when it comes to finding ways to, to get things done. Um, and the final word I think would be commercial um, because we are incredibly important for our clients um, we, we enable them to create huge savings um, every single year and um, equally with, with media brands um, we're, we're a really important commercial cog in, in the media brands um, wheel so um, yeah, that'd be my favorite.